Well, g'day, Jeeps. How are you going? It's, uh, it's Friday. Thought I'd do a special video today uh, answering a few questions uh, which I often get from time to time, which is, what is retirement life really like here in Thailand? Um, and that is probably as unique as there are stars in the sky, really, when it comes down to what you do here on a daily basis. Today, like for instance, I've got to go out and get some water supplies, I'm going to do some basic shopping, I want to get down and check a place to get a, um, what I call one of those treadmill things because, you know, we're out in the sticks here and I don't mind walking but there's nowhere to walk to apart from around rice fields. So if I'm not going to, I might as well walk inside on a treadmill, so I'm going to check out a few prices of those as well. I've got space in the, in, in the makeup room. Why not put it there? Anyway, um, so stick around and uh, we will, you know, give you a bit of an idea of just the normality of retired life. It's also a never-ending battle. Um, Thailand seems like a very uh, relaxed place, but always remember to lock things, you know. If you, if you don't lock up after you, you really are inviting people to do do bad by us. So, uh, that's one of those sort of things you're going to have to get used to. Lock the doors, lock the windows, lock everything. Um, this is Thailand after all. What have we got here? Hmm. And fish on you. Electricity bill. What's this one here? Easy buy, uh, junk, junk, electricity bill. Oh, yeah, yeah, typical. Um, yeah, so uh, I've had to kick the cat out of the house. She's a bit of a house cat. Um, normally we have mum at home working away, but she's might run away to uh, Sukhothai for two weeks and. Uh, Therefore, I'm the only person at home during the day, so I've got to think about that sort of stuff as well. You know, making sure things are locked up and and taking care of the hat. Oh, we were going out, and we, the boys were going out tonight in uh, the, another one of those pub crawls, uh, I think starting at the Robin Hood. And uh, so I said, you want to come along? Well, that's an hour's drive in there and mum's not home. Um, I've got to feed the cat at, you know, six o'clock, you know, otherwise the cat gets, starts tearing the place up and, you know, Sean likes to come home to somebody in the house. Uh, I said, no, I'm going to pass up on the uh, night out tonight. So um, that's what we're doing. I'm going to do the housework today. And yeah, this is normal life. Yes, and our first stop today will be the uh, local guy up the road there that we buy our water from. Our water and other bits and pieces. So we'll just take you quick through, through, quickly through there when we get there so you can see what that's like as well. So I've just noticed that they're uh, doing the painting of the outside wall on our estate. Uh, looks like they're getting final stages of completion now, which is looking pretty good. Okay, nice to know. Not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, we haven't had any rain for a few days. Looks like we've got some sort of block drainage system. <laughs> They've only just built this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's only been finished for a couple of months and it's, <laughs> it's already flooding. Oh my God, water waiting to drain as they say. Anyway, first stop, I need to stop at the 7-Eleven here and um, get myself some cash. One thing you will have to get used to here in Thailand is the use of cash. Uh, although we have all the latest technology when it like, comes to sort of phone apps and banking apps and everything else and credit cards, there's a lot of vendors you're going to deal with here on a daily basis or even a weekly basis, or in my case, this one here, probably every couple of weeks, um, where 
cash talks, you know. Um, it's very hard to describe. Um, something about the, the colour of money, I'm pretty sure, that has to deal with that. Uh, they, they love cash. Um, you know, they, there's a distrust in the technology, uh, even, even in 2021. Uh, so you're going to get used to that. So uh, the typical hole in the wall, that's where you're going to get your cash from. Uh, now, okay, I'm in, I'm in a K Bank, but they don't have K Bank here, but I'll use the Bangkok Bank one there. There's no extra charges. Uh, and that suits me fine. Oh yeah, and remember, they give the money from the card machines before they give you card. Again, this is this distrust with technology. They press some numbers in the banking machine there and what they want, they want their money. So they give them the money so that, that they kept happy, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, uh, look, I fall in that trap, uh, I think you know, probably 2005, 2006. Um, walked away from an ATM machine, uh, you know, got my money and I'm out of there. Um, yeah, I'd call the bank the next day and said, make sure you cancel that card. Thankfully, I had two cards. If you are traveling here, remember, take two cards, two separate cards, two separate banking systems in case you do happen to leave a, a card in a machine because invariably it's about a 99% chance that nobody will be around to actually take the card out of the machine for you. Unless, of course, maybe it's an associated bank like your bank is Bangkok Bank and you're actually in a Bangkok Bank you know, enclosure, house or bank banking establishment where there's actually some staff there that have authority to open that machine and open and get the card out for you. So best thing, just always remember, money first, card second, and you'll be good. I would have done this yesterday, but uh, Shania had took the, the VR day of Fortuna in for a service. So I'm doing it on a Friday instead of a Thursday. Anyway, so uh, this is the shop. Uh, they do our coke supplies, we do different things, and my friend over here, Monte Club! <laughs> uh, gotta get some juice, some Red Bull, and uh, they also, well, we've got a different, ver different versions of bottled water we get here. The one I normally get is this one here. Why do I get this one? Well, there's different levels of solidity on these bottles, and these ones here are fairly solid. I think it's what they're 44 baht for 12, so that's pretty good. So we'll get the next ones. Yeah, so one thing then, with the Emeroy, that's the first one. Oi. Ready, Hal? Ready, Hal? Ready, Hal? Juice. What are we going to get today? Um, What else does she want? That's right. We get our sieve it. She likes her sieve it. Sieve it orange. And what else do we want? Uh, they got a few, you know, odds, odds and ends in here as well. But uh, for some reason, she likes this particular. Red Bull. Now that's the big one. Where's the small one? So it's all about the bottle size. Oh, here we go. This one. Okay. You would be um, given the wrong impression on a lot of videos you see for living in Thailand because everybody's life is going to be different. We're not in the countryside, we're not on you know, rice fields, we're actually in a state, we're in a state sort of on the border of Bangkok, um, so only an hour's drive or hour's ride, in my case, into the city. Um, and uh, uh, so we're still fairly close, which is about as far out of the city as I was uh, when I was living in Sydney. You know, in Sydney I was a uh, I was an hour's drive out of the city, and uh, yeah, so there's no real differences apart from the fact that instead of bush, I've got I've got rice fields around me. You're either going to be getting somebody to do all this for you, or you're going to be doing it yourself. Uh, up to you, I guess. City life is going to be different than living out here, and it's going to, this life here is going to be different than living in the countryside or on some sort of farming community in Isan. Uh, again, it's going to be what you choose to do with your life here. But uh, one thing is for certain, 
it's not all beaches and swimming pools the work has to get done sometime and invariably if you're here with a partner she's most likely working and if she's not working well that's something you're gonna have to deal with because you're paying for everybody at least in my case she might not make a salary like in Australian standards but she makes enough to take care of herself uh, she makes enough to pay the rent here although she doesn't pay the rent uh, but that's the thing it's a shared experience uh, my finances have pretty much got my life panned out her finances well uh, I'm just that uh, the, the stopgap, the, the measure, if I was to kick the bucket tomorrow, um, you know, she could still maintain this house. It'd be a struggle. There'd be probably less, uh, less of her little party nights out with her girlfriends. But hey, that's what you've got to deal with. Okay, anyway, so our next stop uh, will be uh, down to... Uh, Turned the kid the wrong way. Going down to the, the Home Pro... Uh, near Petkasem, uh, which is uh, near our old house. The reason why I'm going there is the fact that uh, there's also the big sea uh, market there, uh, and uh, I want to do both in one stop, so it makes sense to go there as to go to the Home Pro up here. And the Home Pro up here didn't have the little outside shop doing all those exercise machines. So um, it was just one of those things. You, you don't need to know, know the lay of the land when you come and live here. That's one thing for certain. A lot of little investigations you need to go through to make that final you know, acid, uh, uh, assumption of where's the best place to look. Anyway, get in the car and we'll take you there. What we have just on the left there is another casualty of COVID. Uh, that used to be the, um, uh, the Rome uh, restaurant, which we've been to a few times in the past. Yeah, it's no longer there. Completely demolished. Okay, see so here we are at the Home Pro. Well, this is the Big C Extra Home Pro. Uh, it's just down the road from where we used to live. But uh, yeah, so over in this side here, they've got a, a vendor. He's not part of what's... I, I don't know whether it is part of uh, Home Pro or they just they rent space in the shop. But uh, we're going to go and have a look at what they got on the corner there. Uh, now, of course, this exercise machine thing that we're talking about, it's not just for me, it's for Shania as well. She's been voicing her concerns about the fact that she's not getting enough exercise. Um, you know, exercise is one thing, but exercise is more beneficial, if you know what I mean. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Anyway, so we're going to pop inside and um, have a look. We've got a whole bunch of eco cool bikes. Not that I'd really want one of those, but what, 29,000 for a, for a battery powered yeah, push bike? <laughs> yeah, so what I'm familiar with is the fact that this little store here, so Bike Express. Um, we've got some skateboards, skateboard bits and pieces, paraphernalia. And they've got different sort of step machines. I just don't know really what's going to work well. So 8,990 for the step machine there. There's a bike. Uh, uh, you can set up a whole gym really for under 50,000 I guess but um, really I just want something that's going to supplement the riding process that uh, I haven't had a chance to do so we've got uh, a few models here and the prices seem fairly reasonable 10,900 um, 15, 14 17 and 22 I guess the more you pay the more durable they are but Ultimately, this one here doesn't look too bad. It's just, what's their, what's their weight capacities and everything else? That's the big question. And I really don't know. It's going to be something I'm going to have to bring Shania along as well to talk to her about it. But uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, what's your opinion? You know, I thought we could always walk uh, and do the walking thing, but. Uh, I just want something to sort of do 15, 20 minutes you know, in the morning and the afternoon. You know, Shania's not going to want to do too much, but at least if we can get her to 15 minutes walking every day you know, on, the, on the machine when she comes home, um, it should do something for her. I'm not quite sure what this thing here is. Another attachment that goes on it. It's a bit weird. Looks like it's a body strap sort of thing. I don't know. Um, 
yeah. Anyway, I don't see I don't see any vendors around here, so we really would like to try these things out, but I don't know if they're going to do that for us. I'm going to have to ask a few questions. Well, okay, that was a fairly painless exercise. Uh, paperwork's all done. Um, yeah, so I'll put that in my pocket in a minute. But uh, now we're off to the shopping centre. Yeah, so we, we bought the... I, I, I called her and we talked about it. She says, why don't you bring me along? I said, well, every time I bring you along, it takes three hours to make a decision. It's better if you don't come along because I, I can make a decision in 15 minutes to show you what we're doing. Uh, but, you know, this is one of those the things when you, when, when you get a wife, you know, trying to make those decisions together can be a bit of a, a, bit of a dodgy situation. Uh, I just, hey, my money, I'll buy it. It's okay. All good. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go over to the shopping centre now and uh, get a few things in, in the supermarket. I do think the uh, main problem we tend to deal with is the fact that she likes to go shopping and she gets annoyed that I go shopping without her. Uh, uh, typical girl, I shop therefore I am, you know. Is that how it goes? Anyway. Ugh, now I got the stuff on my hand. Uh, SF Cinema. This is a new addition to this area. Uh, look, I won't do the actual showing you inside the shopping centre, like that's pretty boring. Looks just like a normal shopping centre for most people. Uh, but I'll get the, get the trolley, get the things I need, and then we'll get out of here. Well, I think I've got enough shopping. I think it's 1800 baht or something for that lot. Um, so, I think there's something else I need to get in here. But this is again, the <laughs> this is the the stuff that people don't make videos about because <laughs> it spoils the image of Thailand and the party zone, doesn't it? But uh, if you're going to live here, you're going to have to get used to this stuff. But anyway, look, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, a day in the non-life. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. But yes, yeah, so, uh, there is some mundanity to the whole living in Thailand, retired. Uh, I think a lot of people get this uh, grandiose idea that you know, it's all, it's all you know, jingle bells and uh, cream pies and things like that, you know, or whatever. Uh, not really. It's no different to where you are living at home uh, in a lot of respects, except the fact that uh, apart from the rainy season, you get lovely blue skies like this. Uh, more blue over there. Blue skies like that. This is now the cool season. Um, because it's a cool season, we, uh, uh, we, we get to feel comfortable and uh, not having us to deal with the, the excess heat of the summer uh, and the excess humidity of the rainy season. This is probably the most pleasant time of the year. Anyway, there's the machine of a dream. I'm going to get out of here and uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Okay, bye for now.